Oh, this doesn't happen every day. <laughs> a racer on the bean farm? <laughs> this has got to be a first. Hey, Dad, are you playing a racing game? Go right. Go right. Go right. Go right. Go right. Go right. What the heck? Hold on there, folks. Planting season's right around the corner here on the bean farm. is our review of Music Racer Ultimate. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by Abstract It was published by Sometimes You. Sometimes Me. It is set to be released on all modern consoles except the Nintendo Switch on March 3rd for the price of $6.99. Whoa! Look at this! A racer on the bean farm? It's about time. I think I can count the number of racers we reviewed on this channel on one finger. It was less than a month ago that I was just talking about sometimes you releasing such a wide variety of games, but no racers. Uh, that was up here on Summertime Madness. Well, here we are! Music Racer! The game may look familiar, and it should. The original released last gen and was considered an easy completion by many achievement and trophy hunters. Although the game was released two years ago, we're seeing a revisit to the game as being stuck with a static playlist of music to choose from in the game called Music Racer just didn't quite feel right. Well, folks, they're back again to make everything feel right. Ew, yucky. But now you can race to your own music. So here's a spin up. Music Racer is the dynamic rhythm game loved by millions of players around the world. The new Ultimate version allows you to use your own music in the game via a web DAV server from computer or your smartphone, as well as play with a new catalog of music published on the Audius service. Uh, rush along futuristic neon tracks, gather beats, catch the rhythm, baby. The racetrack is created in real time based on the game's music tracks. The speed and mood of each run is determined by the compositions chosen. So obstacles and awards are generated from your music. Wait, did you say we could pick our own music? <laughs> That's right, Timmy. It's time for you to get into the rhythm and collect as many points as possible. These Pac-Man pellets are the lifeblood of the game. The hockey puck pickups serve as the in-game currency to spend on unlocking new tracks and new cars. I didn't really notice a difference between the vehicles, so I believe they're mostly cosmetic. That and the fact that all the achievements are tied to unlocking them in the game. So strap on your grinding helmet, cause it's gonna be a while. The Santa sleigh vehicle cost a whopping 100,000 hockey pucks by itself. <laughs> Pair that with the fact that this is releasing on the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X and S, the PS4 and PS5, I bet you some psychos out there will be hitting four new Music Racer Ultimate completions next month. Uh, just watch my profile, guys. Playing it on the modern consoles allows for the full 4K 120 frames per second, which makes it feel liquid butterly smooth. Uh, of course, YouTube caps my renders at 60 frames per second, so you'll just have to take my word on that one. The game itself is a wonderful laser light show, and the grind to completion really isn't that bad, as you get to choose your own music. This makes the whole completion a casually easy pickup. It just takes some time. I appreciate the web DAV integration, but I wonder why something similar didn't make it into the original version. This is a budget release based on today's standards, and I'm just really not sure that this new Ultimate version does enough to encourage previous owners to repurchase it. But for as for new players, as I saw here on the farm, we'll recommend the ride with a full three and a half beans on the fire.
Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> I put the keys to the track. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Uh, how about no? Or call a pooty. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Fog.